been looking at lentils for a couple of years now and the hope is that we're going to have um, a new crop for you all which is going to really take off in the UK. We're looking at lots of different varieties. We've got um, three types of lentils in here, red lentils, brown lentils and green lentils. Um, and we can see there's lots of different uh, variations in terms of maturity, in terms of the yield. So we're looking at all these different aspects and, and just trying to get a bit more of a handle on them and what kind of crop this is going to make uh, for the UK for the future. Uh, also as well we have different nutrient uh, package uh, things that we're looking at. We also have uh, fungicides that we're looking at as well under an experimental license. And we're just trying to get the full picture as what um, this crop can look like uh, for the future. But this trial has not received any nitrogen so it's a fairly low input crop at this point. We have put um, a herbicide on just to see how it would respond and it hasn't actually managed to kill any of the varieties that are here. Um, it does seem to make its own rhizobium. We haven't put our rhizobium treatment on this at all. We have done in another trial, um, but we haven't really seen any benefit from doing so. So at this point, all we've really done is put a herbicide on. Um, we will be looking at the fungicide regime in a bit more detail um, as, the, as the crop progresses. Um, the crop normally matures uh, round about the middle of August onwards, depending on the year. Last year with it being so hot, um, we actually um, it matured at the beginning of August, which was very early really for lentils. Um, it's more of a continental crop really, but a lot of these varieties have been specially selected for a maritime climate. So with any luck, we'll have something really interesting to show you in a few years time. Mm -hmm.